Yeah, from nothing. Uh, you need a Delaware C Corporation. You know, machinery, tooling that we can use in order to do rapid prototyping. You have to build it, and it's physical. It's a physical object that you're putting together, often literally with your hands. Guidance and navigation control, propulsion specialists. Electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, software engineers. That requires space, not of the outer variety, but of the, the physical variety. Thermal vacuum chambers, regular thermal chambers. Radiation testing, acoustic testing. A small vibration table, we have a large vibration table. The ability to make sure we're gonna be able to get the thing into space. We need to have software on the satellite that controls all the parts. We also need software on the ground. Our solar arrays, if you're doing it in gravity, it would snap off. We need user terminals, we need carrier monitoring stations, antennas on the ground to talk to the satellite. We need a sales department that's going to go actually sell the satellites. You know, all the different regulatory aspects, probably a bunch of other things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, I think that's it. That's, that's everything. <laughs> There are so many things you have to do to start a space company. We really had to boil it down to just the essentials to get started. Build a first prototype satellite as fast as we could, secure a first launch contract, and get in touch with some early prospective customers who would be able to say to investors that they were interested in what we were building. In Silicon Valley, there is the top startup incubator in the entire world, and I knew we had to be a part of it, Y Combinator. It's a pretty crazy program because you're going from zero, having basically just an idea and a couple of people. And then at the end of it, you're standing up pitching for why you think you deserve millions of dollars. So going into Y Combinator, we set ourselves the challenge of could we build a first prototype satellite in just three months? A lot of my prototyping was going in laser cutting plastic or going in water jetting aluminum and then sort of bolting it together in, in ways that were maybe not ideal, but good enough for me to test out the current thing very quickly. So a demo day, I walked up on stage. I'm John with Astronus. Right as I was getting started, we had Ryan take the demo satellite out of its case. And then I would go like whole Rafiki holding up Simba with it. This is Ryan, and what he's holding over his head is a satellite. The crowd just let out this audible, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and this August, it is going to fly into space. How do I know we can do it? I'm a rocket scientist. My co-founder Ryan is a rocket scientist. We're Astratus. Come talk to us if you want to find out how much money you can make in space. Thank you. So demo day went fantastically well. And with all the investor support we got out of that, we we're able to find and hire the initial team. Good morning. Hi, I'm Roshana. Hey, I'm John. Hey, I'm Brady Salls. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Sam, mechanical engineering background, and I like to build things. I just decided to show up for a summer. I had really no idea what I was getting into. I was looking for a company that was very early stage. I was looking for a place where I could write an algorithm to control a spacecraft. I was pitched that I could do that in three to four months. And so I said, hell yeah. I was really excited about building new spacecraft. I thought that John and Ryan had a great idea of how to do it. I wanted to zoom out. I was so focused in on one thing. I had dinner with my friend Mickey. And John said, so I've heard about this company that's called Astronus. First of all, I think he thought it was a Leo constellation, not Geo. And she said, got it wrong. And she pulled out the pitch deck. The funny thing about that is she didn't work at Astronus. There are a number of startups where they were like, space is cool. Like, let's do space because it's cool. And I agree that space is cool. I don't think that's enough. I pulled out my laptop and like gave John Bowen the pitch of Astronus. I knew that there was this untapped market to put something new in Geo. And he was really excited by that. The combination of the team and, and that market that I knew was there, that's what got me in the door. Let's make better use of geostationary orbit. Let's bring internet to a lot of people and let's do it by always continually improving. And then about a year later, <laughs> that was when I came on. And it was a secret program between me and Gedmark to hire her after I was hired. It was a funny kind of like barbarous thing. Ryan and John and Astronus had Space is Cool along with this is a good business idea. This will help people. I got one go at this before I sort of get, get older and I, I wanted to take the opportunity. Working on just cool problems, working with really awesome people and making real shit at a very fast pace. Astronus offered me that opportunity. Now that we had assembled a team of some of the best engineers in the entire world. We now had the resources to go and, and do what we've been talking about doing. We were ready to build our first flight vehicle. Go forth and build the real one that's gonna go to space.